Welcome to how to analyze performance of your chatbot using Core.ai's Bot Builder. This video walks through how to analyze performance, including frequency of usage, failed and successful utterances, and other important metrics for enhancing the user experience. Now, once a bot is published um, and you have your users using the bot, you obviously want to see how are your users using the bot, what are the kind of things that they speak to the bot, what are the things that the bot understands, what are the things it does not understand and how can you improve the bot in general. So to, uh, to kind of answer those questions, you come to this an analyze tab here. And the first option here is you can look at the chat history, right? So in this case, I have published the bot, but I've been talking to the bot from the developer console so far, and I'm the only user here. So, so I see my name here, and uh, I can look at all the conversations I have had with the bot, right? So I just said a few hi, hellos, and a bunch of other things. So I can see the actual conversation log that I, uh, I had with the bot. If there were multiple users, I will see multiple entries here and I can review the bot, review those conversation and see how the conversation was, um, <clears throat> uh, how the conversations was flowing through. The other thing I can do here is actually uh, get a little bit more detail about what the bot's understanding from users' uh, statements and what it does not understand. So here are all the successful uh, scenarios, right? So here, what is the latest in the blo um, blogging world, right? So we were trying trying those out and, and the bot was able to uniquely identify and match it to this particular task. So these are all uh, shown up here in uh, successful scenarios where the bot was able to uniquely identify a task for the user's utterance with a high degree of confidence. But uh, here are a few things that uh, I had tried, which uh, apparently did not work, and those show up in failed scenarios. So what is a KT? So there is no task in this bot that actually matches that, and that's why it's showing up here in the failed scenario. Now what I can, I can do here is I can just click on train bot, and well, okay, this was probably before I added the uh, knowledge task here. Uh, what I can do is now say this is an incorrect match, and I want to map this to something else, right? So let's say when you say something like that, I want it to match it to uh, or to something different. And I can say, okay, here is the machine learning utterance that I want to put. Or if there is some synonyms that can be used to match to new post, well, I can put that here, right? So this way I can quickly uh, retrain the bot by looking at the failed scenarios and make sure that it actually understands uh, and uh, the next time it uh, encounters the same utterance or a variation of that utterance the bot is able to uh, to uh, to respond back correctly another thing that you can quickly notice here is that we also are, um, capture some of the metrics uh, that is used behind the scene by the scoring algorithm so you can see uh, what is the confidence of matching different things and you can uh, this, uh, there's a lot of documentation on this uh, and you can use that to understand that well this is the reason why this was not understood and once I change this these are the numbers that's going to change and based on that now the bot is going to understand uh, the conversation so if you want to get deeper into how the bot actually understands that you, these are the numbers and these are the metrics that you would uh, you can keep your uh, eyes on to to make a better judgment